Last week, we introduced you to a Hartford woman upset about a recent spike in her electricity bill. News 4's Will Polston spoke with an expert on why utility rates have been on a steady rise over the years. Shannon Eldridge is just one person in Hartford upset with her rising utility bill. All the money has to go to the power bill. Wiregrass Electric CEO Brad Kimbrough says Hartford utility customers aren't the only one. You know, we recognize that about 25% of our members struggle to pay their power bill. So we asked why. Kimbrough said it comes down to energy capacity costs. When we say capacity, we're talking about fixed cost, demand, it, it, especially at peak demand. If a utility company has all of their residents using power at once, then the company needs to have at least this much power to power all the homes. Now, if the homes are able to disperse their power usage throughout time, then the capacity becomes way less, meaning that the provider is going to be paying less money, which means more money in your pocket. And of course, if we don't have the capacity, then the lights don't work. Kimbrough says the capacity rates account for nearly 65% of their cost as a utility company. That's opposed to 2006, where capacity costs were less than 40% of the company expense. Kimbrough says that's from policies and regulation, requiring companies to use alternatives to coal for power, making it more expensive to get reliable energy. That continues to put pressures on rates for all utilities across the country. And that's obviously seen when people get their power bill. The U.S. Energy Information Administration says that coal was used for nearly 50% of electricity in 2007. That dropped to just 19% in 2022. Kimbrough says regardless of the hurdles, the utility companies will still be there for their customers. Whatever it takes, we'll continue to, to be there for our membership. Again, doing the best we can to provide that reliable and affordable electricity. In Geneva County, Will Polston, for your hometown news leader. The World Resource Institute says the U.S. is one of the 10 quickest countries to phase out the use of coal.